All right, welcome to Banjo Kazooie, everybody. So, for some reason, people seem to enjoy it when I answer personal questions. So, I've got a thought catalog article with 200 questions. I've got a random number generator set between 1 and 200. And I've got a nice chill video game from my childhood that we're all going to enjoy together. Also, I'm exhausted, so it should be fun. Uh, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. It really means a lot to me and it would help me out. I'm trying to hit 50 subs uh, by the end of next month, so hook me up. And with that, let's get into the tutorial here. Oh boy. Alright, so I'll start with my first question. 197. What skill do you wish you had? Hmm. There's a lot of skills I wish I had. I guess if I had to pick one, it would be... Um, time management? I wish I was better at time management. I'm not very good at... I'm not very good at that. Alright, I'm gonna decline the training. But if I had to pick like a practical skill, I would say um, like cooking and meal prep would be really cool. Let's get some speedrun strats in here. All right. I need to grab these. Reminding myself how everything works. Um, okay. So yeah, skills. Yeah, I wish I could. I wish I could cook. I guess I can give a few answers if I want to. I wish I could cook um, a little better in meal prep. I wish. Um, Yeah, and I wish I was a little better about balancing my life out. That's not my strong suit. Okay. Let's go for another. We go from 197 to number 10. I'm just gonna go now. I think that's all I need from this area. Oh wait, there's another, another honeycomb. Are there six of them in this area? Okay, number ten. Let me let me scroll with one hand while I walk. Oh boy. See if I had an assistant, this would go a lot easier. Get on the tree, banjo. All right. Oh boy. This is a good question. It's, what is your favorite book slash movie of all time, and why did it speak to you so much? So, this is an easy one for me. It's, uh, the book and the movie are the same. It's Jurassic Park. Now, before you go, oh, the dumb dinosaur movie, Jurassic Park, the book, is really adult and really serious, and has, like, a lot, a lot to it that is not in the, um, I don't know why I did that. It's not in the movie. It's like almost a completely different story. So um, I actually read it. Pretty questionable parenting, but I read it when I was like in um, like first grade, and uh, I just I absolutely loved it. And there's so much in that book that I could I could go on and on about. But it was like one of the first things that introduced me to like what a good book was, and it pretty much spoiled me honestly, because I have a hard time reading. My expectations are set high, but I pretty much like anything that Michael Crichton writes. I think he's a genius. Was was a genius. I'm gonna space the questions out a little bit because I don't want to be. I don't want to be like skipping. Can I skip this? Tonight I'm drinking peach vibe Celsius. For those of you that are wondering. Okay, 
This is obviously unskippable, so I'll do another question. Ooh, 172. There's a lot of ads on this, so it takes me a minute to scroll. Hit the bear with me. Out of the negative emotions, greed, anger, jealousy, and hate. Which would you say affects you most? Well, that's a heavy question. Greed, anger, jealousy, and hate. I wouldn't say I'm a particularly hateful person. I'm not a very jealous person. I think anger. And I'm not like a super angry person or anything, but I do. It's me, Mr. Jiggy. I love Mr. Jiggy. Um, so I don't, I don't have like an anger problem, but I think everybody, you know, everybody is probably a little more angry than they wish they were. Um, I have a hard time not, if somebody jabs at me, I have a hard time not answering back. That's a tough one for me. To enter the world shown in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. Ugh, these unskippable dialogues are pretty rough. I was actually thinking about learning the speedrun to this game, and it's pretty intimidating, honestly. That and I'm playing on Xbox, so it's not like I have all the same like glitches and exploits and stuff that an N64 version has. So I don't... So, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I am enjoying doing two things at once lately. I'm doing a game and some kind of either like question and answer or um, like reviewing an article or something like that. So please, 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 if you're still listening, go into the comments and leave a suggestion for a video. Like maybe a game combo with or just an idea for something that you want to see me do. That would be really helpful for me. Plus, I just think it's cool to interact with people. Jinjo! Yippee! You saved me. I love the Jinjos, too. Let's do a question. I wish that these numbers weren't so far from each other. Alright, let's see. I need to get some some notes. My son has been playing this game because I actually... I'll tell the story of how I... Uh, I'll, I'll do it now, yeah. So, I'll tell the story of how I, I came to play Banjo-Kazooie back in the day. Back when it first released. Um, when I was 10 years old, I went to the doctor and uh, they heard a murmur in my heart. So it's basically making like an extra sound that it's not supposed to make. And, um, they had missed it, and apparently it had been there since birth, and they had missed it all the way, whoop, all the way up until I was ten, which is, like, really abnormal. And so, basically, there was a duct open in my heart that wasn't supposed to be open, and, um, it was, like, causing unoxygenated blood to mix with oxygenated blood, and that's a bad thing. Uh, I gotta talk to bottles. There we go. So it was allowing it was allowing the wrong blood to mix, which was bad. Um, so they had to go in and put a titanium clip over it. Fun fact: I actually worked with, well, not worked with, but I uh, was worked on by a famous cardiologist who had to invent and custom make the tools that they used. There we go. I had to custom make the tools for me because uh, they normally do that surgery for infants and in order to not crack my chest open and do it laparoscopically like coming in from the side they had to use like special tools that were longer so it was a little fun fact but um, because I was so brave and I had to get a pretty serious surgery uh, my parents got me a Nintendo 64 and I had uh, bear swipes and I had um, Super Mario 64, uh, Banjo-Kazooie, 
And then I later got Pokemon Snap. So I'm super pumped for the new Pokemon Snap that's coming out, too. If anyone was wondering about my feelings on it, I can't wait. I will definitely be playing it on the channel. Jiggy jiggy. Alright, but I'm supposed to be answering a question. Not telling stories. 33. What did your past relationship teach you? Hmm. I guess... I guess I'll go with this relationship, like my marriage. Because it's more interesting. It's taught me more interesting things than it's just like some random ex-girlfriend of mine. Um, I will say that this relationship has taught me how flawed I am. So, those of you who are married will probably find this funny, and those of you who aren't married probably need to hear it, but being married is like, if someone cuts you off, I'm supposed to use the talent trot to get up here, but I guess I can just get up here anyway. So, being married is like if you cut a person off in traffic, and it's definitely your fault. And they beep at you, and they flip you off. So you flip them off, and then you just kind of like forget about it. But being married is like if that person is in your house when you get home, and they won't leave. And the only way for you to get sex is from them. So you're going to have to make up. <laughs> That's my best description of marriage. So yeah, I've definitely learned uh, what an asshole I am. And how many flaws I have. Oh, I didn't pay attention at all to how I'm supposed to... I think it's the two triggers, right? Yeah. Alright, we're good. We're good. I love the mumbo tokens. Alright, let's get some notes. Got another Jinjo here. I love this game. Like, recovering from surgery, I just played it, like, endlessly. It wasn't a long recovery or anything. It was pretty easy. They just had to go in from the side, so I got this scar. Like, five scars along the side. I tell people it was a shark bite. Alright. Oh, I gotta do the monkey thing. Go ahead. Throw an orange. Uh-oh. Alright. So... We had a little technical difficulty there. Froze up. So we're gonna go back in and try again. I think I have to start over with the notes. Did I not learn the moves yet? No, I still have the talent trot. Jinjo! Alright, so we're back. So anyway, I was saying I think that I just, I played this game endlessly. It is the most nostalgic game for me, I think. Out of any. Oh, did I get all the Jinjos? I don't think I did. Well, I guess I must have. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Oh my gosh. It's not without its flaws, but I still love it. Alright. Question 96. What song makes you unconditionally happy? there's a song that makes me unconditionally happy. Unconditionally happy is a pretty tall order. That to be a hell of a good song. I guess I could 
say a song I like. Can't even think of that right now. There is one song, I can't remember what it's called. Alright, I, I guess I'll go with um, Hotel California. I really, really like Hotel California. That's, I would say that that guitar solo in Hotel California probably always makes me at least a little happier. A little happier than I, uh, I was. 51. I hope I notice if I get a, a repeat. What's your favorite hobby to do alone? Um, this. Right now. I'm just sitting on the couch by myself. Which isn't to say that I wouldn't want to involve other people. Like, I've recorded with my wife before and I really enjoyed it. For her channel. Um. Give me that honey. Alright, where's the guy who teaches me the... Oh. So, um, yeah, I would say YouTube. YouTube's my favorite hobby right now. Oh, that was the ground pound one. He already taught me that. So I need the one who teaches me the eggs, and he's down here. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay. Let me do this real quick. Think I don't hear you throwing those oranges? There we go. Oh, seriously? There we go. Alright. Question number nine. Give me an orange. I keep doing that when I mean to do this. There you go, monkey. Orange for you. So question number nine is... What makes you feel accomplished? Well, with the YouTube thing, it makes me feel accomplished when people leave comments. Because uh, it's cool to interact with people. And, like, see that somebody actually... Even if they didn't enjoy my content, they at least, like, saw it. So I, th I think that's, and took a minute to like say something, I think that's pretty cool. That makes me feel accomplished. But other than that, I, I like seeing it when people um, learn something from me. That makes me feel accomplished too. So, for reference, those of you who don't know, the grunty pictures, like these buttons, always unlock a jiggy in the overworld. And like in her castle. So you want to find those. I think there's one in every... I think there's just one in every level. Okay. Now he'll teach me to shoot the eggs. 32. Man, I'm getting a lot of jiggies out of this kid. Now enough with the oranges. Um... Question number 30 is, what is your i Oh, he's still throwing oranges! What is your idea of a perfect vacation? Um... So my... I don't want to say first date, it wasn't a first date, but one of the first major dates that my wife and I went on when we were dating was a cruise to the Bahamas. Because that's how I rolled back then. Um... But... I would say... I want to go on a cruise to Alaska, and I want to kayak in the Prince William Sound and, like, see killer whales and seals and stuff. That would be very cool. What? How did that miss? Yeah, I got eggs to burn, man. Wait, don't I need to jump on this one?
All right. So, yep, cruise to Alaska. Give me the honey. I don't think I even needed that. I think I just slaughtered him for no reason. Let's see if I have enough mumbo tokens. I do not. Is there one in here? Okay. Alright. I always feel like he looks like whatever monster Elmo is, but with a skull on his head. That's what I remember thinking when I was a kid. Give me your notes. Is there one back here? Okay. There's always hidden stuff. But I don't really need these eggs. Question 20 is my next question. I gotta go find one more Mumbo token. And I gotta scroll to question 20. Question 20 is very somber. Have I ever lost anyone close to me? So... No. I have not. I've been pretty lucky in that area. I will say... I have lost, like, relationships with people that were close to me over the years. Sometimes they just fade off. Sometimes you have a falling out, stuff like that. But as far as, like, the spirit of the question, no, I have not. And if anyone has, I'm sorry. I know it happens to everyone eventually, it's just... Hopefully something that I'm strong enough to deal with by the time it does happen. Where are these notes? How many notes do I have? And where's the last Mumbo token? I don't need all these eggs. I need Mumbo tokens. I think I got the one back here already. Talent trot everywhere. That's the speedrun strat. Question 62. hope these questions are fun enough. I already looked up here. Maybe it's in here. Maybe it's actually in, in the termite mound. Or termite tower, or whatever you want to call it. It is. Give. Give. Done. I can finish this up. <clears throat> Alright. Another deeply personal question. What is the greatest struggle you've overcome? I'm not sure if I want to answer this one honestly or not. Give me a second to decide while I turn into a termite. Whoops. Come on. There we go. Alright, so there's two answers to this question. Um, there was a time in my life when I was addicted to a medicine that was prescribed to me by a doctor and I had to kick it pretty much cold turkey that was one of the hardest things I've ever done um, and then another thing was I, I went through a military program that I ended up washing out of and I failed out of the program and when I failed out of the program, I had, like, my entire, I felt like my entire identity was stripped away from me. And so that, that was another, that, like, identity crisis was another challenge that I, that I overcame. So, I would say those two things are pretty tied, pretty tied for difficulty. Points for honesty, by the way. Y'all are getting to know me real well. 
I think I can just jump off. I think I have everything from this level now, by the way. I've got a hundred notes. And I got, yep, yeah, ten. That's it. That's everything. Question 125. I hope you guys are enjoying this. It's super enjoyable to record, honestly. Just some chill banjo. Okay. When have you felt like... Hold on. When have you felt like you were living life to the fullest? When have you felt like you were not? So, some of the kind of issues that I have doesn't live life to the fullest an awful lot of the time, unfortunately. Um, but, I would say that I live life to the fullest sporadically. Like, it'll... It'll kind of come and go, if that makes sense. I slip, and then I do better. It's kind of a cycle. But I would say definitely one of the times I felt like I was living life to the fullest was when I was first dating my wife, and I was in the military program that I was trying for, and, you know, I was in the best shape of my life. It was, it was really fun. But I always say I would never go back to being that person, because I was so dumb and so arrogant. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing in life. So, you know, I'm older and wiser now. Not in quite a good a shape, but I can live with that. Okay. Treasure Trove Cove. I don't need to remove pieces. I need to place pieces. to get some cleaning done after this, after this recording. I don't think I'm going to edit this one either, by the way, just the, the issue that I had. Alright, new question. Number four. Oh, man, I'm sorry, they're making me scroll so hard. I think it's through here. I think. I could be wrong. I am wrong. This isn't it. I can wake up this magic cauldron. I don't know if this is useful to me at all. Don't attack me while I'm talking to the cauldron. Oh, this is a... Painfully easy question number four. Do I consider myself an introvert or an extrovert? I am an extremely extroverted person. To the point of being accused of flirting all the time, honestly. I'm like, I'm just being nice. Apparently people are only nice to each other when they have ulterior motives. Don't be naive like me. Alright, we're jumping right into the next level here. So we learned to fly in this level. Let's, let's trot. I don't really need to pick up feathers right now. I can do- whoops. Oh my gosh, get out of there. Sheesh. Net loss of this camera. Okay. What do I do for this guy? Got you? I don't think I can shoot eggs at him. Nope. Hey, this is Nipper's Beach. Find nothing without Nipper's help. Cheeky bird need feathers clipping. I think you just pound his claw. Okay, I'm not doing that. 
We'll figure it out later. Okay, so in summary, I consider myself an extrovert. I don't, uh, I don't really like this level, by the way. This is probably my second least favorite. My first least favorite is Rusty Bucket Bay. Because it's ugly and horrible. And you'll see when we get there. I need honeycombs. But I also need notes. Oops. This camera is like my biggest enemy. Okay. Alright. Let's do another question, shall we? Hello? Okay. I just lost my recording entirely. But it looks like it's back. Question 10. Nope, I already did question 10. Just kidding. 15. When do you think a person is ready for marriage? Oh, this is a great question for me. I love talking about marriage. Um, never. <laughs> That's not true. Uh, I think a person's ready for marriage when they know who they are, but that being said, I don't think that you can know who you are really until you're married or in a serious relationship because there's a lot of things about yourself that you can just kind of skip over when you're with some when you're not with someone you can just ignore some flaws and kind of lie to yourself about stuff that you are kind of forced to be honest about when you're when you're in a, a long-term serious relationship like that Oh, just eggs? I thought there was a Jiggy in there. So I, I don't think you're... I think getting married is like having a kid. Like, you can prepare for it, but you can never be prepared for it. Because it's always going to be different than you think it's going to be. That's just my opinion. I wasn't at all ready for marriage when I got married. Like, no clue. I had no idea who I was. Where is bottles? I need to learn things. Um, I guess I go do this. Oop, 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 oop. He's up here, right? Okay. Let's do another question while I talk to him. Question 111. Okay, so question 111 is, what is the darkest thought you've ever had? What about the darkest thing you've never told anybody? Um, wow. I don't know that y'all know me well enough for this yet. I feel like I need to create a Patreon tier or something. <laughs> I feel like you guys need to give me $5 before I give you my darkest thought I've ever had. How can I land? I guess I'll ground pound. Oh, whoops. Um, I need you, so I guess I'll, I'll go this way. Okay, so darkest thought I've ever had. Uh-oh. Jump. Good, there we go. Oh yeah, extra health. Um, all right, I'll, I'll put this. I'll put this tactfully. I have had a lot of dark thoughts because I have, for most of my life, struggled with my mental health and struggled with depression. So I'm not gonna get specific, but I will say I have had many dark thoughts. <laughs> And I'm doing a lot better with them now. Pretty much past that phase. 
which is good. Not that it's a phase. I mean, it, you know, things things are always have the ability to get difficult in life, but I would say that I am I am largely to a point where I don't need to worry about it as much. I find it easier to remain positive than I used to. I hope that's a satisfying answer for everyone. Hi there, I'm Captain Blubber and I lost me treasure. Number 155. Um, it's down here, right? Get in. There we go. Got this one? Alright, so question 155 is what do you think happens after death, if anything? So... That's a pretty personal and difficult question to answer. Uh, I'm not going to get super into my religious beliefs on the internet, just because I don't believe in doing that. But I will say that I'm a little undecided. It's, uh, it's hard to know, because I've never been there. But if I can let you know, I will. Here we go. cop-out answers for 100, 190. Are you serious? So, I don't have a big enough channel, I don't have a channel at all, really, but I, I don't have a channel to have a community, but when I do, there will be two rules, no religion, no politics. So, when question 190 asks me, if you could pick Wait, where is it? Oh, if you're forced to pick one religion on this planet, which would you choose? Uh, not going there. Uh, you can't make me. It's my stream. Question 88. Alright, here's your treasure. There you go. Now give me my treasure. Oof, only one jiggy out of ten on this awful place. Um, go away. Wait, what do I turn into in this one? I don't remember this level very well. Alright, number 88. If you could get away with anything, what would you do? If I could get away with anything, I don't know. Nothing too, nothing too bad. Cause I'd, I'd feel guilty even if I got away with it. And I don't, I don't have a, a place for that in my life, right now. I don't need any guilt. Um. Aye, aye. There we go. What would I do if I could get away with anything? Not work. <laughs> if I could get away with not working, that would be cool. If I could get away with doing YouTube as a job, I would do that. Jiggy? This is the easiest jiggy I've ever gotten. Where's that chest? I think there's something good in this one, too. Mumbo tokens. <laughs> ah, we have a Jinjo. Hello, Jinjo. Oh, dear. Oh, this is bad. This is bad news bears right here. Looks like he just takes one bite and then he leaves, which is nice. 
I don't know what I'm supposed to do about this, though. I don't remember. Okay. Then we will do another question. Number 29. What are you most thankful for? Thanks, bottles. Excuse me, now I have things to do. What am I most thankful for? I will be very vocal about the fact that I have gotten lots and lots of second chances, third, fourth, fifth chances that I don't deserve in life, so I'm, I'm thankful for that. I've been really lucky. I've been really blessed. Number 171. Cool. Get jiggy with it. This is going to take a lot of scrolling, so it'll be a minute. Um, let's see. The one thing I do wonder is the, what, what kind of glitches are still in, still in this game. Because this is the Xbox One version that's got to be, like, patched to all hell. All right, let me let me get to this question real quick, and then I'll I'll go about flying. One seventy one. Do you think that men are more rational and women are more emotional? Not at all. I would say that I am much more emotional than some women I know. It just all depends on the person, really. I'm gonna get eight my way out of here. This is a, a true 3D platformer. Okay, I'm focusing on what I'm doing here. This is tall. Oh, please don't make me do this again. My anxiety is mounting. Oh, who? Okay, that scared me. I'll take a question. 175. Describe your best first kiss. Well, this is kind of saucy. Oh, no. Okay, alright, uh, alright, uh, I didn't lose too much. What a pain this is. This is the growing pains of the 3D platformer genre. I think the growing pains of the 3D platformer genre are just it existing at all. Okay. It is awfully late. Best first kiss is definitely and I'm not I'm not just saying this, I swear. I swear to you I'm not just saying it. It's definitely my wife. Um we had a really awesome first kiss. What is this? Mystery egg? Oh, an egg. It's one of the seven stop and swap items we've been looking for. Nuts and bolts? I knew this didn't look familiar. That's bowl. Oh, whoops. I forgot he takes fall damage. Oh, trash. I just wasted all of that time. Okay, so my wife and I's first kiss. So, back in my my previous life, before I was um, before I joined the military, I was a martial arts instructor. Um, yes, really, I did weird stuff, but uh, I was a martial arts instructor, and um, we were hanging out after hours one time. Um, and we had been on like two dates, two or three maybe, something like that, and we hadn't kissed, and I was showing her, I, she asked me, uh, you know, if, if I would teach her, and I told her that, yeah, you know, like, yeah, just come to class and, you know, I'll show you some stuff, and being all flirty and whatnot, and, uh, I, I went to put the belt on her like a white belt, and I went to... What does he want? Eggs. There we go. 
So, um, I went to wrap the belt around her, and then I just grabbed her by that belt and pulled her into me. This is very romantic. It's probably the best move I've ever pulled, honestly. She was impressed. Alright. Banjo Kazooie. Where's the J? There it is. There's an O over here, Banjo. Okay. Can I get a K? It's in the corner, right? Yeah. A. Z. I know this is very exciting for everyone. I know that you're itching to see what the puzzle is. There's another O over here, right? I wish the name was a little shorter. Now I have to fight this guy. Easy. Don't step up to me talking that trash, son. How did I miss that? There we go. Things are getting really personal in this episode. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do another question. 101 was the question. If you could take us anywhere in the world right now, where would you take us? Okay, I guess this is supposed to be from the perspective of like a first date or something. That's my only explanation for why it's worded that way. If I could take someone anywhere right now, it would be Chicago. I love Chicago. Museums are cool, the city is cool. I fell in love in Chicago. My wife and I. Oh. Look at that. I'm supposed to be getting up for work. Um, my wife and I uh, got married in Chicago. I was there for the for the Navy. So yeah, it holds a little special place in my heart. So if I could go anywhere with somebody, I would show them Chicago. I haven't been in years. I'd really like to go back. Alright, I'm gonna go up to the very top. I see a Jinjo. Needs my help. I'm here for you, Jinjo. Okay. Number 66. Gonna need to scroll. There's some pretty cheesy stuff you can do with those jump pads to get to areas you're not supposed to be. We'll have to see if we can do some of that later in the game. Just a mumbo token? Oh no, you can go in, okay. Alright, question 66. What's one thing that bothers you most about the world today? There's so many things that bother me about the world. Uh, I'm gonna go with... Oh, hey! Whoops. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go with stigma surrounding mental health care. Really bothers me. I think it keeps a lot of people from getting the help they need. I had to get over it. And I'm a lot better for having done so, but I know a lot of people that, you know, could probably use uh, a little tune-up and uh, they're avoiding it for one reason or another and, they, you know, they're never good reasons. Oh, jeez. That's fine. Give me the honey. Let me go see if I can deal with this guy. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do with him. He 
He's like invulnerable. I have an issue waking up for work. So I decided that on days when I work really early, I'm just not going to sleep. So that's why I have time to record. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I'm um, right in his mouth. Oh, that was a close one. Let's pick a question while we're safe on this box. 91. Why are we here? It's a... It's a deep-ass question. Uh, I won't lie. It might be too deep for... Right now. Um... I don't know why we're here, but I will say, since we are here, we should try to make it better for people. Really, right on a crab. Um, by which I mean, we should try to do our best, and do I have to hit these? I don't know if you can tell how tired I am, but yeah, I think, I think that it, it doesn't really matter why we're here, you should, uh, you should try to do your best and try to improve what you find. Teach people. Make the best of it that you can. Alright, number 187. <laughs> appropriate. Appropriate question is appropriate. Have you ever been unable to sleep? What do you do with your time then? I'm currently unable to sleep, and I am using my time to answer upsettingly personal questions to strangers on the internet while I play a nostalgic video game. I hope you do better things with your time when you can't sleep. I should be cleaning. I probably will. How many notes do I have? 76? Where are they all? Yeah, I've got a 4.30 a.m shift at Starbucks coming up. I don't want to go. I'm tired. But it'll be fine. The cool part about being really tired when you go to work is that it passes the time quickly. Because you're all delirious and you don't really know where you are or what you're doing. At least that's the goal. I gotta get gas too. Ugh. I hate getting gas at like 3 in the morning. What am I supposed to do here? Feeble eggs, no match for nippers, shell armor. Um... Do I have to wait for him to stop pecking and then hit his eyes? Yep. Okay. Sheesh. Uh oh. Knockout nipper. Alrighty. Glad I figured that out. That was embarrassingly easy. How many notes are in here is a good question. I hear crabs. So, number 138 is... What is the biggest change you've ever made that made you the most proud of yourself? I would say I went from being depressed and lonely to... and the overweight to losing 50 pounds and winning a... Navy SEAL challenge contract to join the Navy with in six months. That was a big overhaul of my life, and I did it fast, and I was very proud of myself for it. More stories about that later. Always time for story time. Where are the rest of the notes? That's what I want to know. I need the Jiggy for the 100 notes, and I only have 83? Oh, there's some here. I gotta talk to the bucket again. To fill it up. 
I think. Next question, number 40. Question 40 is, what do you think about when you're by yourself? I wish that was like a saucier answer. Something interesting, but I just think about the same things I think about when people are around. Honestly. Think about whatever's on my mind. I will say my mind is a little more scattered when I'm by myself sometimes. Question 37 is, what is the craziest thing you've done and would you do it again? I think the craziest thing I did was just joining the military on a whim. I guess on a whim is the wrong word, the wrong phrase. I definitely put a lot of thought into it, but it was still a crazy thing for me to just do. And would I do it again? If I was back to the same age I was when I did it, yeah, I would. Not under the same circumstances, but I would have. But I would do it again. Let's see if I can scroll to a question while flying. 109. Oh, we already answered this question. Not this exact question, but this exact question, if that makes sense. If you could do one thing without suffering the consequences, what would you do? It already asked me almost that exact question. It's hard to come up with 200 questions, guys. Facts. Question 12. Are you more into looks or brains? This is an interesting one to answer. I have to be real careful because if I say either, my wife's going to think she doesn't have the other. I would say I was always attracted to brains more. Looks don't hurt. Looks are nice. But I mostly just wanted to know if I clicked with somebody and if they could make me laugh. That's a big one. I don't find a lot of people funny. You have to be like a particular kind of humor for me to find you funny, so that was a that was a big plus when I found my uh, then girlfriend, now wife. I thought she was hilarious. Who is your favorite historical figure? What an interesting question. Who is... So the only, the only jiggy left in this level is the, the note block one, or the note one. So I just have to get the three missing... Don't mess with me. Uh, I'm just, I just have to find the last three notes and then I'll have all of them in this, in this level. Honestly, I don't even know if that's worth it. I don't need every jiggy. It's just gonna drive me nuts. Um, I don't know who my favorite historical figure is. I used to be a big fan of Patrick Henry. Just because I thought, uh, I thought he was a slick lawyer. And I thought his, uh, give me liberty or give me death speech was pretty B.A. Alright, let's end on a question. That's a question we've already done. If past lives are real, what was yours? That's an interesting question. I think in a past life I was a leader of some sort. I'm not saying that I was like a king or something, but I was definitely in charge of some stuff because that's where I'm happiest. It's when I have something that's mine that I'm in charge of. Alright, so I think that's where we're going to end it for tonight. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know this is a long one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Have a good night.